You know, I'm getting a lot of requests from people to... They keep asking me to review the ECW games that Acclaim made. And my initial thought to that was, why? They're pretty much just like Attitude, aren't they? I mean, they've got the same controls as Attitude. Same graphics, same gameplay, same menu layout style. What's there to talk about? Attitude Repost. But you know what? That was a while ago, and after some thought, I came to the conclusion that maybe I'm not giving these games a fair chance. So, in this review, I will give them a fair chance. In this review, I will see if these ECW or Clan games really do deserve to stand on their own as their own games, or are they just simply attitude ripoffs? Let's take a look. So, first up is ECW Hardcore Revolution for the Nintendo 64. Why don't you give it a round of applause? <laughs> yeah, no. No clapping? Okay then. So according to Wikipedia, this game was released in North America in January 31st, 2000. So you know what, the game starts off alright. So let's check out the utilities option. And in here you have a choice to change the controls as you see fit, which I'm sure a lot of gamers would like. Apart from that, you have all the standard shit like difficulty, intros, recovering, lag. Ooh, be sure to set that to teen, I'd recommend that being the first thing you do. And yeah, it's all yada yada yada, typical option stuff. As you can see, you have a poorly cut out Rob Van Dam in here, which will be staring at you the whole time. Now, let's check out the exhibition. Yeah, it's been a while since I played Attitude, but these are all the same kind of option choices you will find in Attitude, I'm sure. You go down some more, and it kind of repeats. Yeah, I mean, look at this. You got verses, and then you go down some more, and you got verses again. Now, there is a slight difference between the two verses. I mean, you see this little broken glass hole thing here? If that is next to the option, then it will be an elimination type match. So, choosing one on one, I find myself at the character selection screen. Again, it's just like Attitude. There seems to be quite a few wrestlers here, and honestly, I do not really know if it's a pretty good roster or not. Because I never got ECW where I lived, unfortunately. Here we are at another selection screen. This is where you choose your final options for the match. I do see something that grabbed my eye, and that was a barbed wire option, which I know was not an attitude, so I selected it. Apart from that, it still looks the same as attitude. You can choose your time limit, customize the arena, blah blah blah, let's see what the gameplay is like. Since I chose about wire, there are no entrances, but I will cover that later. You got the two wrestlers talking schmack, which is a lot better in teen of course, and what do you know? It's uh, well, what can I say, it's pretty much if not exactly like freaking attitude. You got the same clock, the same name, the same health bar, the same crowd chance, although no way, the crowd chance aren't as good in this game as they were in Attitude. Attitude had good crowd chance, this is just kind of mediocre, but Joey Styles is always great to listen to. Although he keeps saying, oh, whenever you do a freaking arm lock, which can be pretty annoying, Joey. You still got the move list option, which you can pull up whenever you want, but it kind of kills the mood when you're getting into the match. The barbed wire is cool, I suppose, you can throw your opponent into it and watch their back bleed. And you can even run into the barbed wire yourself. As amusing as that may be, it gets old quite quick. Other than that, I don't know what else to say. It's just like Attitude. You know, it's the same kind of moves, the same style animation, and speaking of the animation, I really do hate the way they stand and walk. That! Why that? I guess it's supposed to look like, you know, just before they tie up, but wrestlers don't look like that all the time. If you're gonna have a standing animation, then maybe you should have one that's, I don't know, maybe typical of a human being, you know? Not this stupid retarded C-3PO bullshit! This is one of the most personally annoying things I have with this WWF ECW claim games. I mean, they just look so stupid, thus far I cannot take them too seriously. Or seriously at all. You know, that is all I can really say about this game. And I know you may say, you didn't talk about the creative wrestler or the career mode. Well, guess what? It's the same damn thing as Attitude. I've always hated the career mode for this game. I mean, all it is is just you're scheduled to face wrestlers, win bouts, and lock stuff. That's about it, I think. I don't know. I never really played it that much. Oh, yeah, I said I would address the entrances as well. Well, guess what? They're actually fine. There's nothing wrong with them. 
It's like what the wrestlers do on ECW. It's just like how the wrestlers came into the ring in ECW. You know, just kind of how Attitude did it with the WWF wrestlers as well. Same thing. You know, this game received a 4 out of 2 on GameSpot. You know what, I would say a 4.2 out of 10 is pretty much right. Still, if you really like the Attitude and love the ECW, then this game will be perfect for you. And if you do like this game, that's perfectly awesome, that's fine, that's cool. You know, heck, even some people who uploaded footage of this game onto YouTube say that this game is bad. So in conclusion, ECW Hardcore Revolution is in my humble opinion, albeit meaningless opinion, an attitude ripoff. <sighs> I think that's it for part one of my review. In part two, I'll be looking at ECW Anarchy Rules for the Dreamcast. When will that be up? I don't know, within a week. Although don't take my word on it because I can never seem to be able to release shit when I say I want to, but definitely within a week. Take care, I guess.